Hello, my name is Kevin Olson and I am an instrumentation specialist on the support staff of the chemistry and biochemistry department of Montclair State University. I am also an historian of science and a person who has wasted a lot of time at railroad museums and playing with model trains and generally messing about with steam engines, which makes me uniquely positioned to talk to you about the Carnot cycle. The Carnot cycle is one of the most important concepts in physical chemistry and in thermodynamics. The Carnot cycle describes what is a theoretically perfect heat engine. In other words, an engine operating along the lines of the Carnot cycle is the most efficient heat engine that is possible. Now, we as chemists, biologists, and other people who are interested in thermodynamics are not necessarily interested in heat engines per se, but we are very interested in what the Carnot cycle can tell us about the conversion of energy into work. Many of the ideas developed in the discussion of the Carnot cycle will deal with chemical, will be applied later on in chemical equilibrium, entropy, chemical reactions, and other important concepts in physical chemistry or in thermodynamics. The Carnot cycle was developed by the French scientist Sadi Carnot in 1824. It was truly a remarkable achievement. At the time, steam engines consisted mostly of tea kettles on coal carts pulling wagon loads of coal through the British coal fields. No one was thinking about the types of engines, the uh, mobility, the uh, railroads that we, we would experience just a few years later. Carnot said that no heat engine can be more efficient than a reversible heat engine when both engines are operating between the same pairs of temperatures. Why did Sadi Carnot worry about these sorts of things? What was he thinking about when he developed the Carnot cycle? It is the purpose of these videos to explain to you as a student of chemistry, as a student of thermodynamics or physics, what thinking went into the development of the Carnot cycle. What was the historical background that led to the uh, development of the Carnot cycle? Now, I am not going to talk to you about the mathematics of the Carnot cycle. That is the job of your PCHEM instructor or your thermodynamics professor, and they could probably do a much better job of it than I can. So let's begin. What is a heat engine? A heat engine is the, any kind of engine that uses the expansion of hot gases to do work. You are probably watching this video with electricity generated by a heat engine. In that case, it's a, a steam turbine at a power plant. The power plant burns coal or oil or natural gas. It makes steam from water. The steam expands. The expansion of the steam turns the blade on a turbine. The turbine blade turns the shaft of an electrical generator that produces the electricity that you're watching this video with right now. Your automobile is a heat engine. We take gasoline oxygen and we mix it together and we ignite it in a cylinder and the hot expansion of the gases in the cylinder move the piston and do the work. During the course of these videos I'm going to be talking a great deal about a special kind of heat engine that is a steam engine. When I use the word steam engine, I'm using any kind of heat engine that is powered by steam, that converts the, the, uh, 
power or the heat of steam into mechanical work. A steam engine can be a stationary heat steam engine that provides power for a mine or a factory or some other sort of industrial application. A steam engine can be on board a steam boat or a steam locomotive, or it could be a steam locomotive. I'm also going to speak uh, specifically about steam railroad locomotives. Now before we, ex we explore what exactly the Carnot cycle is and how the Carnot cycle came about, let me just review one quick concept with you from that you should remember from your freshman chemistry. When we have a gas and when we compress the gas in a cylinder, the gas will get warmer. When we take a gas that is compressed in a cylinder and allow it to expand, the gas will get cooler. So please remember this as we go through this video. Compress the gas, make it hotter. Allow the gas to expand, let it get cooler. In part two of this video, we will begin examining how the Carnot cycle came about and how it came about in the context of the steam engines that were being built in the 1700s and early 